as politicians, we are not satisfied with the way our technical persons are taking this issue. First of all, when you're giving out a contract to someone, you have to make clear terms and conditions. When that person's period is over, you have to write to them and stop to, to stop them from taking on. And then council takes on and until the clear person is given. But our office of the town clerk did not do that. And that is the cause of everything that we are seeing. These people say Bali City did not write to us to stop. And therefore, we are continuously working. On that note, we are only not facing challenges with this street parking. The revenue performance in Bali is totally very down. You cannot imagine that Bali City at this moment cannot raise even 3 billion of locally corrected revenue, which is very bad. But the problem is not with the politicians. I know our voters always go on and blame us, which is their right, because we are their eye. But we have the challenge in Bali City. In the office of the town clerk, we have the challenge in the office of the principal of finance. Our principal of finance, I don't know how I, I can explain. In most cases, when he brings his financial reports, they are never clear. Our principal of finance can bring a financial report. Whenever our principal of finance is bringing in a report about the finances, our monies are always going down. Now my question is, we are not spending. Where is the money going? You engage the contractor and the contractor says, yeah, Bali City is demanding me a 200 million. When you come to the principal of finance, he tells you, no, no, no. They brought some uh, 10 million. Then you ask him, on which account? He cannot reveal that. So I am appealing to the people of Mbali that we know what we are doing. I request you to be patient with us. At the end of it, we are going to come up with a solution. We've requested for an audit in the Office of Finance, and we've also requested that our senior technical person in Mbali City, that is our deputy, town clerk also to move out a little because when you look at every kind of connivance with the people who are not remitting to council in most cases they're all leaning on him so my question is is it the one who is taking part of this we projected 3.7 billion as the local revenue that we are supposed to collect in this last financial which is ending but on my own way, I'm seeing our CFO give us 1.1 billion. Only we are left with two months to end the financial year. Now, where is the 2.6 billion? And yet people are collecting this money. I also want to appeal to the taxpayers. Someone is coming to you, you have a hotel. And he's telling you, your hotel, please, bring money in my hand. Can't you ask that person to show you where, where we are supposed to take the money? These people pick money in hand. You find someone has been assessed 3 million. They pay the 3 million. The person is taking on the account 100,000 and they're pocketing 2.9. December. From December to now, it's only four months. That means they, they have that thing. Every council that lives they go to court, like the ones that, 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 that we, we replaced. They left here when they were demanding two years. The council was not paying them. So we want to get that thing out of them. And the only way to take that thing out of them is to hold people who are responsible. If you are the CFO, why are you not paying? If you are the CFO, actually another stuff with our CFO, I think he's either tired, he's either old or what. He has failed, he has failed to monitor the city divisions. Because the city divisions are the ones giving us money. So if you are the CFO and you're not being accountable with those other people, how do we perform?